Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sindral and I'm the artist and blogger behind Pink Pensive. In this video, I'll give another review of the metallic paints that I got from the Paint Fairy. I already did a quick swatch of these paints in the first part of this video. And this time I'm doing a demo of a single delicate rose. I'm using Cans and Montfall 300 GSM watercolor paper. I got six colors from this palette that I purchased last March, but for this artwork, I'm only using two of them. I'm using Pixie for the rose and Kaya for the leaves. And towards the end, I'll be using Aslan, which is a metallic gold color from the very first palette that I got from the Paint Fairy way back in February. I swear it looks just like a pixie dust. I was so lucky to stumble upon this talented girl on Shopee one time I was looking for affordable metallic paints online. I was about to do my first project for 2021 and I needed gold pigment for my artworks. I just waited for about three days to get my first order, which is already amazing knowing that the paints were coming outside Manila. If you'd like to check out her palettes on Shopee, I'll link them in the description box below, as well as her Instagram page. The pixie color looks quite pale on white paper, but it's really bright and sparkly if you use it on a black paper. designs and color choices change with my mood. Sometimes I like to paint galaxies with mostly bright and vivid colors on dark blue or maybe black background, but these days I find myself reaching for very soft, light or pastel colors to make artworks. I know that the rose is almost invisible right now, but I'll give you a closer look later on so you can see the shimmer of this pigment. Thank you. 
adding the Aslan to highlight some of the petals of this rose. This artwork that I'm making, as you can see, it's very minimalistic and kind of a stress-free painting that I really love to do when I'm trying to slow down during my days off. I'm really impressed with the quality of the paint. It's not chalky, however, I still have to get used to the amount of water that I need to use with it. The paint does not fade even when it is exposed to sunlight. Here's what it looks like a month after I painted it. Thank you so much if you made it until the end of this video. If you'd like to see my other artworks, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Cindrel, that's C-Y-N-D-R-E-L. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!